Osaka is considered Japan's kitchen, and you can see that from the city's over-the-top Totombori shopping street. It's outrageous and packed with restaurants and delicious street foods. Back in Osaka, Totombori. Yep. Now we ate a lot of food here last time. In a previous episode, Kevin and I ate until we practically exploded, sampling tons of delicious street food on Totombori. Osaka is the place to be if you're following your stomach to Japan. And we're back for some more food, but we wanted to try something different, and Kevin had heard of a place nearby, so we left Dotombori. A short walk away. Japanese food is known for its beauty and presentation, like kaiseki ryori. But we're not here for that. This place is a wacky, all-canned food-themed restaurant. They have dozens of shops around Japan, but of course it all started here in Osaka. It's a lovely place with a view of the Dotombori River. Cans, cans, and more cans! There are over 300 kinds of canned food here, which makes this both insane and totally fun. Customers have to choose what they want to eat, and that's no easy task. Here are some of the canned foods available. After Kevin and I had decided on five cans to try, we took them to the counter and ordered our drinks. This place is called Mr. Konso, and I'd never seen anything like this before. Could one consider this concept the opposite to Japan's gourmet soul? Perhaps, but we're here to see just how good or how bad Japanese canned food tastes. Kanpai. First up was bacon honey mustard in a can. They had me at bacon. All right, let's see what we got here. <laughs> yeah, there's like thick cut bacon, right? A little bit of a honey mustard sauce. <laughs> Maybe many restaurants are serving us on the plate, we don't even know it. <laughs> it's so oh, good. That's good. Isn't that good? Huh? <laughs> right now, this is the one to beat the uh, bacon because it's the first one we've had. <laughs> <laughs> but that's really good. Next up, Takoyaki, in a can? My favorite Japanese street food, and well, to see it in a can, it kind of horrified me. But it also got me curious. It looks so good freshly made, like this. Could it compete with the real thing? What makes this even more interesting is it, it comes in a can, but if you eat it at the restaurant, they give you the katsu bushi yep. and the nori, nori and the mayonnaise as a set. <laughs> so it's a total complete package here, so I guess the best way would to eat it like a little bit of mayonnaise and then grab on, grab onto the takoyaki like this. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. All right, I'm gonna try one of those. <laughs> Let's see what this is like. Oops. Half of it. They need to be heated, but it's really good because it's um, just a ball of dough in a salty, soy based sauce mm -hmm. with, in the middle, that piece of octopus, the yep. taco. Yep. Mm, this is good. Yep. This is really good. At the plate now is buri daikon, canned amberjack fish with Japanese radish. The restaurant will dish it and heat it up for you. The buri looks great and the daikon, not bad. Which one are you going for? Um, the daikon or the booty? Booty. Booty. <laughs> All right, I'll go for the daikon. All right. Okay. Booty daikon. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm. That's good. Yeah, it is. Uh, it's, it's got kind of like a slightly fishy taste. Mm. Good texture to it. You know? Okay. Yeah, I like booty. Yeah, I like booty too. It look because it looks like a big piece of beef. <laughs> to be yeah, honest with you, it looks like a big piece of beef. <clears throat> but it's fish. It's, it's a meaty fish, really. It's quite meaty. Right. Mm. 
You know, like, you know, some fish kind of are very loose and flaky. This has got a good solid meatiness to it. Brown color, mm. I love it. That looks nice. Japanese food in a can isn't so bad after all. That was really good. Then, mushi uni. Sea urchin in a can hit the table. It's a seafood with a spiky shell that terrifies some foreign visitors to Japan. It usually has a premium price, but in a can, it's quite reasonable. But is it good? Now, normally I like it fresh. I've never had it in a can before. Yeah, I know. I go to Hokkaido every June to eat fresh from the ocean, so this is going to be a test. Kevin goes first, like a brave seaman heading into a taste typhoon. It's pretty good. Really? Yeah, it's pretty good. It's got that same ocean flavor that you get, you know, when you get it fresh. I mean, it's nicely done. I'm I surprised. To be that good. Yeah. <laughs> it's still, to me, not good. Yeah, yeah, it's not. I'm not a big fan of uni. I, I'll eat uni. Uh, it's not in my top ten. It's not the same as, as it being fresh. But we're, we're not in Hokkaido right now, so you know, we can't get it fresh. This is really good. I'm, I'm surprised. Next up is dashimaki, egg in a delicious fish soup stock. It looked like a cut-up omelet in a can, something I'd never seen before. It's also the top-ranked canned food in the restaurant. Dashimaki. Yep. And this is the number one popular uh, can here. In the, the most shop. popular. The most popular. And it looks weird. I mean, who would put egg in a can? <laughs> I don't know. This is so weird. It's cool. Yep. It's yep. so cool. It comes with ponzu. Ponzu, yeah. Ponzu is a kind of a vinegary sauce. Yeah. Yeah. Something you could dip it in. Let's let's give it a try. Yeah. Uh, of course. The first. There you go. Ah, oh, yeah. That looks nice. You can see the rolls in there. It's so soft. Yeah. The plate. I'm just gonna go for it. Mm. What do you think? Oh, this is good. Yeah, it looks good. Let's try that you want to see. Mmm. Very soft, tasty, filling, and good enough that you want one more. Yeah. I can see why this is the yeah. number one item here. I don't usually eat my dashi back with ponzu. It's nice with ponzu. Mm. Now the verdict. Ah. Which one do we pick? Now we have to decide what the top five canned foods at Mr. Kansu are. Which one did you like the best, Kevin? Okay, you know what? I'm gonna stick with my original choice here. I, I knew you were really, gonna say that. Uh, I think it's, it's a fantastic uh, bacon. <laughs> it's, I'm gonna go with the bacon as well. All right. I think cool. the, the atsukiri bacon, I have to go with that because it's just, oh. it's that good. It goes so well with beer. What is it? Yeah, it's, it's definitely an alcohol side food, right? <laughs> right. Number two is a little bit in the air. Um, I'm going for the takoyaki, and a close third is the dashimaki, fourth is the buridaikon, and those, those three are really close together, uh, second, <laughs> third, fourth. And the last, of course, for me, is the uni, because you're not it's, that big of an uni fan. it's uni. But not it's, not, it's not bad, it's just, it's better if, if fresh for me, honestly. Yeah, yeah, it, it definitely, I mean, fresh, you can't beat that. Can't beat fresh. I'm a kind of a takoyaki aficionado, I'd say. Like, yeah, I, 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 my, my neighborhood who makes takoyaki, I won't even eat any High else. class it's takoyaki so guy. Good. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm going to take the dashimaki over the takoyaki. Which ah. Kind of surprises me. So I'm going to go dashimaki, then takoyaki. But I think the takoyaki and the uni are kind of tied for me. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> so for, but it's still in the bottom, though. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, still yeah. in the bottom, the uni. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's still about the uni, just didn't make it out of there. Sorry. <laughs> So here are our lists. We both agreed that the atsukiri bacon and honey mustard sauce was the best, and the only argument was between the middle three, which were all very close. Even the sea urchin was not too bad, although definitely try it in Aomori or Hakodate, where the taste and experience is the best. There is a whole world of canned food in Japan with items that you've probably never seen before. Some items are well known and all seem to taste good enough to make these shelves. That's eating out in Osaka. No matter what's on the menu, it's always crazy fun and worth exploring the city for more. And since our stomachs will be empty again, Kevin and I will be back for more food adventures around Japan's kitchen.